Hello, my name is Marwan Baliki and I am a postdoc at the Abkarian Lab at Northwestern University and I am here to talk about our latest work in neuron that was done in collaboration with Dr. Howard Fields at UCSF. The main objective of the study was to investigate the role of the reward circuitry, especially the nucleus accumbens, in predicting the value of acute pain and its relief. We were also interested in seeing how does the system, how is this system modified in the presence of chronic pain. To this end, we used functional brain imaging to look at the temporal dynamics of the nucleus accumbens. Here we show the nucleus accumbens activity during a painful thermal stimulation in healthy subjects and chronic back pain patients. The stimulus time course is shown in red. The shaded gray regions represent the average pain for that stimulus and was similar for both groups. Nucleus accumbens in healthy subjects exhibited a transient increase at both stimulus onset and offset. Furthermore, the amount of activity at stimulus offset was directly related to the amount of pain relief after the cessation of the stimulus. In chronic back pain patients, the nucleus accumbens showed similar responses at stimulus onset but was reversed at offset. This suggests that the value of pain relief associated with acute pain is altered within the context of ongoing spontaneous pain. Here we show the functional connectivity of the nucleus accumbens to the rest of the brain in healthy subjects and chronic back pain patients. The important thing to note that in healthy subjects the nucleus accumbens is mainly connected to the insula, while in chronic back pain patients it exhibits increased connectivity to the prefrontal cortex and anterior portions of the ACC. These differences in connectivity probably explains the difference in the value of acute pain between the two groups. Dr. Abkarian, what is the implication of the study and how does it fit with the other work that we do in this lab? The study is part of a larger group of uh, experiments that we have been conducting over many years that examine the role of the brain in chronic pain and how chronic pain itself influences the brain and how this, the, this, the interaction between the two distorts cognitive abilities as well as perception of pain in general. Specifically in this study we are looking at motivational, evaluational and emotional uh, properties of an acute pain and how it is being distorted in the presence of chronic pain. And how does this study help us in understanding the nature of pain? Pain has been debated for many centuries and Aristotle uh, defined it as part of our passions, excluding it from sensory modalities. In contrast, Descartes drew this beautiful picture of information traveling from the skin to the nervous system, to the brain, and in a sense defined pain as the prototypical modality within which sensory systems can be understood. The conflict between these two ideas has been around for many centuries and we continue to, to grapple with them. And in this study, we directly address this dichotomy by looking at the representation of the sensory modalities of pain between normal subjects and chronic pain patients and show that there is no difference between them. On the other hand, we show a dissociation of the valuational, motivational value of an acute pain between the two groups of subjects. In a sense, showing the first direct evidence that both modalities coexist in the brain and can be dissociated from each other as well. 